Hello, my gorgeous friend. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening people on YouTube, and welcome back to William in Japan. Today you join me on my beautiful Ducati Super Sport 950S. On a chilly, well not so chilly compared to other part of the world, a 16 degree mild climate but cloudy November day. First of all, I must make an apology to all of you for not uploading any content being on hiatus for the past close to two months some keen eyed of you guys may have noticed that i moved as i have shown in my intro i now finally got a garage of my own and got a place to keep all my gear and my stuff inside of Tokyo which is a very very crowded city in case you don't know and thanks to all of that moving paperwork and all of the hassle that ties in with moving I have barely ridden this super sport for the past two months so let's take her out for a quick spin and show you show you guys my new helmet so on my last video when we went to Okutama the thumbnail already shown me wearing this helmet which gives you quite a good idea of how long <laughs> I already had this but looking at the good side that means I have pair pretty much experience using this helmet during commuting highways and such so speaking of commuting how is the AGV K5S compared to my past helmets so a quick review I still have the Arai RX7 and a Kabuto Ryuki the one I have retired is the Kabuto Kamui 2 which in fact is the most similar helmet that I have compared to this one they both come with inner visors they are all meant for a bit of touring I guess thanks to that visor again and they are pretty lightweight and pretty quiet but compared to the RX7X is it really that quiet? I can't give you a definite answer. Since the AGV and the Arai both really really emphasis, put emphasis on their air ducts, their airflow, keeping you cool. And a matter of fact, they actually do a great job. That is true. However, due to having so much air ducts, and me putting a GoPro as you can see at the chin of my helmet that means I can't use the neck roll which is provided by both Kabuto and Arai oh, all of them I guess and AGV so without the neck roll definitely increases wind noise so if you ask me are they very very quiet helmets I can't give you a definitive answer but at least it's nothing that I can't handle I can definitely ride them for six to seven hours a day without earplugs but please put in mind that as you may all know I am a slow rider I don't go at breaknecking speeds so that may be a defining factor of the noise part other than that, vertical, let's say field of view, 
the Arai and the RX-7 does not really differ a lot. They are very similar. When I had tucked in like this, I can see properly up front. When I sit up straight, no problem there is at all. But there is a huge difference at my peripheral vision. So basically, horizon, uh, horizontal field of view. My peripheral vision is extremely impaired by the AGV actually, compared to the Rai. The Rai does a great job to let me see almost to directly beside myself. But with this AGV, it's a bit more obstructed. But not in a way that it's really dangerous or anything. It's just since I got used to the Rai helmet, kind of feels odd when I can't see as much as I expected. But other than that, being used as a commuting helmet in these kind of utterly unacceptable traffic situations, it does the job. Other than that, it has a city mode or a city posi uh, position for the visor, the main visor which is basically one of those stoppers that keeps your visors with a little crack in the middle. Now, almost every single helmet maker has that, so not a big deal. But I have to give AGV props for its liners. Man, they feel extremely comfortable and they feel even more premium, to me at least, to the rise. And it fits me the best so far out of all the brands that I have tried. Oh, wrong one. We're not going on this intersection. Okay, where was I? Yes, the liners. So the liners definitely feel very very well and the shape thanks to AGV's Asian fit which gives it a more round shape instead of intermediate oval it fits my head extremely well that actually after getting this helmet I need zero adjustments out of the box which is something really novel for me since Back when I bought any other helmets, a lot of adjustments must be made and I had to run in and out of the gear shops to get a perfect fit. So that already made me a huge AGV fan, just like that. Now why did I get the AGV in the first place? <laughs> it's really about you guys, believe it or not. So as you all know, the AGV has a snout, a very very long snout, aggressive look. It actually gives me a lot of space to put all my wiring of the GoPro microphone. And since I don't actually put a fixed fitment on the helmet to stick my GoPro on, I use a latch on one. So that gives me even more space I can work with thanks to the shape of the AGV. And of course, I think most people like the, like the looks, don't they? I definitely love this one. So you may ask why didn't I get the K6? Well, the K6 actually does not come with the inner visor. Yes, it's even more lighter. Yes, it is more it's safer, uh, safer, I guess. But I really want an inner visor since I don't like tinted visors that you had to switch out during your night. I do a lot of night riding thanks to commuting. So I prefer having an inner visor when I need it. A clear one on the outside, an inner dark one in it on the inside. But that's the reason I got a K5S instead of the K6. Alright then, we're on the freeway, uh, I guess highway is a freeway, it's extremely expensive here in Japan, 
let me show you guys out the rainbow bridge not from under but on top on the highway side where the view is extremely better but I don't know why every time I'm trying to make a video on YouTube when I'm recording the weather always sucks so my apologies if it's kind of dark and gloomy all over the place it's not my fault I guess the weather just hates me all right then let's head on to the rainbow bridge and give the good old super sport a bit of bean Got too much attention. <laughs> head back to 100, around 90. And yeah, even at those speeds, very, very short turn, uh, time span, of course, but the AGV held up very, very well. Thanks to its shape, when cutting through it, cutting through wind and air, when you're in kind of a, kind of a tucked in position, it definitely does not shake around like the old Kabuto I had. Almost all helmet companies use a wind tunnel to develop their helmets right now, but again, some brands just does it better. But AGV no, definitely comes into that lead. Not sure how much of this wind noise is being picked up by the microphone right now but I am hearing quite a lot but bearable which is I guess just part of riding a motorcycle you really need some earplugs if you are trying to keep all of that wind noise out and just be careful if you ride too long without earplugs like me there is always a chance you may get some ear damage. Tokyo Tower and we're heading back into the heart of the finance district in Tokyo. Oh, I said finance but it's just a business district I guess. It's a big city as you all may know. One of the most populous metropolitan areas in the world one little thing that I would like to mention though about the AGV this may be due to me not being very familiar with the system yet but I find taking out the inner liners a bit cumbersome from time to time it's not as straightforward like my Arai but definitely manageable no big deal breakers there so no harm done I guess it's just something I have to get used to oh I remember this curve it's one of the most fun curves we have on the Metropolitan Expressway large sweeping curve but remember to slow down since the merging places are extremely short in Tokyo all right gonna peel off the highway now and grab some lunch Anyway guys, this is a very very quick update 
on what I was I doing in the past two months and about this new helmet. I actually got a new pair of winter gloves as well. Maybe I'll show it out to you guys in the near future. And hopefully, and all heck of things, I could get out riding very soon. Instead of getting stuck in Tokyo in this traffic and doing all the riding for commuting only. Alright guys, this has been William. Thanks for joining me and see you next time. Bye-bye.